Panthers. Okay, so we'll look at the Sharks. First things first, they are unchanged, 1-17. to Moylan Johnson still make up your 6-7. and seven. Kennedy at fullback. Um, I mean, as for the Panthers, they have the extended bench. They've named Coruscant in the nine. As to whether he plays or not, I highly doubt it. I mean, Mitch Kenny is in the 14 shirt. Hopgood, Lenny Otago are your bench, as well as Moses Leota coming back in to take a starting shirt. I mean, the the Panthers didn't look fantastic with... Well, I think if you take you, the majority of spine out of most NRL teams, they're going to look a bit clunky. And that's exactly what happened last week. Burton, maybe maybe Burton is, is a centre. Um, May, you know, they just there wasn't the link-up, the usual 6-7 link-up that you see out of the Panthers where in uh, Luai and Cleary that just clicks so well every time. Just wasn't there for the Panthers and their forward pack really suffered for it, weren't getting the ball early enough, balls going missing, just the... Just little errors that eventually led to their downfall. And I mean, the Sharks, they're, they're not a, a premier team. Mind you, the Panthers got beaten by by the Tigers last week and they're not exactly a premier team either. But do I think the Sharks can do what the Tigers did last week? I think not. I think that the Panthers come back and learn from last week. They've had a, they've had a game together of the majority of this group and... I just see the Panthers bouncing back. You don't see teams go unbeaten and then all of a sudden they slip into this routine of of losing two on the bounce. It just doesn't happen. Again, a tough one. Steve Crichton came out today and, oh, yesterday, sorry, and said we're not expecting any of the Origin boys to play, I don't think. Take that for what you will. It could be just a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a, a red curtain, a red flag, just trying to get the bull by the horns and, you know, take the media for a bit of a spin. Again, it's going to be a physical game. It really depends on how these guys pull up after Origin. It's another game. It's another Sydney game. They have to fly back. They have to recover potentially make it through the captain's run. But as you mentioned, this is a Panthers side that last week looked like absolute dog poop against a Tigers side that generally doesn't play much better than dog poop. Granted, the Tigers looked superb last week, but it was a second string, nearly New South Wales Cup-esque Panthers side. Um, If I'm not... As worried about your Isaiah Yo's, your Liam Martins, your Kurt Capewells, even your Brian Totos in terms of their impact, but I'm very concerned about whether Cleary and Luai back up. If Cleary and Luai back up, and I don't think both will, but I think one might, if either of them back up and Burton goes to seven, they probably win. But if none of the Origin boys back up as Crichton predicts, I'm going to go Sharks 1-12. to And Will Kennedy, who has been an absolute gun this year, will score one, if not two. And if he doesn't score two, he'll definitely set one up for Connor Tracy, who's going to absolutely burn Charlie Staines. Okay. There's a, there's a bold prediction. Um yeah, I'm I'm gonna go Panthers one to twelve. I think this one will be a tighter, more low scoring affair. I know that the Sharks have got points in them going both ways, you know, for and against. But for me, I just think that the Panthers probably learned a lot last week and they've had an entire week to iron that out. So as for the Sharks, you know, they they they've been clunky at the best of times this season. Again, Moylan Johnson. When when the Sharks use Moylan Johnson, they look okay. It's not quite Townsend Johnson, but it, it's getting there. And 
I, I just think that the Panthers the Panthers have a better shot with this one. So uh yeah, I go Panthers one to twelve. If I'm gonna be pushed for an anytime try scorer, uh again, I, I'm gonna go Momorovsky. I think if he if the numbers line up as they do, he comes up against Chambers uh, and Tracy. I just think that he's got a better chance of maybe pushing the gap and going through himself there. So yeah, we will uh, we'll go there with that one. I feel like we need to say it now and we'll probably reiterate during this stream though. This is recorded and streamed live on a Tuesday night, pre-origin, pre-team list changes. Please do not come at us if the players are out and we've tipped them on Friday. If you're if you're watching this on a Thursday or a Friday looking for tips, we're trying. Please don't yell at us. <laughs> yeah. We're very fragile. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Next. Right then.